Hi guys, Pete from PlasmaColor.co.nz. Good to see you back here again. As you know, I love the PT31 plasma torch, but uh, I was cutting some stuff in the garage the other day, and uh, I uh, realised that the control over this torch is not as good as what it could be, and um, I wondered why the other torches have a little guide that you can clip on here, like a little wide guide that um, helps you control your torch and, and um, steer it when you're cutting plate. But these little ones don't seem to have it, and they're the ones with the cheapest consumables. So I thought, oh, well, maybe I can make something to uh, put my wire guide on. But anyway, this is what this little video is about. Uh, it might save you a bit of um, money on consumables, but you don't burn them so much, and it might give you a bit more control over your um, over whatever you're cutting. Anyway, uh, all you need is a roll of tape and a, and a ceramic cap and a little um, wire spacer, which you can get from Amazon or anywhere of those cheapest chips. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to buy them. I mean, they're only about five bucks or something. But um, yeah, it might um, might help you with your cutting. Anyway, now the uh, AG60 torch. This has all the little bits and pieces on it. The um, the wire spacer. This is the spacer that I'm talking about here. The trouble is with these torches. I mean, I like them. But the consumables are twice or maybe even three times the price of the PT31, which I think is pretty, you know, they don't go that much better, or I don't think they go that much better. But I prefer the cheaper consumables, because, uh, not that I'm cheaper, I think, but um, I like a bargain, and I think you guys probably like a bargain as well. But, um, yeah, so that cap goes on there, with the, um, the uh, AG60 torch, and then you slide that on there. Screw that on, and then that gives you a balance, and then you can card or do whatever you want with that. And then that's that's really good. But these torches here, the PT31 with the cheap consumables, they don't have that. You can't get a wire spacer for that. So what I'm having trouble with is I don't know about you guys, but I'm having trouble with holding it the right distance from the work. And when you go to cut something, you sort of dig it in, and it hits and burrs the bottom of the bottom of the electrode and it um, shortens the life of them and it just doesn't cut properly and you can't put this one of these wire things on there because there's no way you can hold the thing on there it just won't work so yeah it won't be the right distance or anything from the from the from the um from the cutting tip from the drag tip so so there you go so i want to i made this now this is really complicated as you can see a piece of tape, a wire and a ceramic from an AG60 torch on the ceramic from the uh, PT31. So I'll just uh, show you how I did it eh. Like I say, you get your PT31 torch like that and you put the AG60 ceramic on top of it and make sure it's square. Square it up, you can see there's a ridge there, square it up like that. You get a roll of tape, any colour of your own choice. and. Uh, tape on there and you think that would burn off but it doesn't it's quite a way up the up the um up the um ceramic so it doesn't and I just a couple of times around there with a piece of tape cut it off like so screw that back up now you're gonna say that this doesn't fit on there anymore which it doesn't what you want to do is the solid round piece use it as your guide and this, the other piece up here with the cutout on it, use it to centre it because you've got more control over it. Now that's the original, the original groove where that sits on, and this now is too far away from there. So what I do is just pull that up like that, pull the other side up as well. I don't know if you can see that or not. I hope you can. Pull that up, move it over. And so what we need is like a straight edge or something, a little straight edge. And if we put it across there, can you see that? That's just touching the tip and it just gives you control. Just gives you control over your torch. So what I do, all I do with that now is get your tape again. Now you see that that back bit slipped off, but just pull it up to level it up a little bit you only got to do this once and then you can use the same thing over and over again like so 
and then just don't put too much pressure on it but put it on there and just make sure that it was still rolling on the tip so just push it down onto your metal onto your work until you can feel you haven't got to rock anymore it doesn't rock so yeah that's it you can feel the, the flatness get your tape and this is very complicated isn't it <laughs> talk about um, okay, you tape around it make sure it doesn't unscrew it's not exactly the neatest but you get the general idea a couple of times around with your tape like so like so and the advantage of that is there's one I just made before that just screws and unscrews like normal and you can just change your consumables out once you got it made just change your consumables out as normal put that on there screw that on and you have a guide and like I say these uh, these caps and these wire things are cheap as chips I think you think you can get five wire things for about five bucks or four bucks fifty and five caps for four bucks or four bucks fifty I'll put a link if you want to go and buy some and, and do it but uh, this is what I use anyway anyway I'll just um, switch my compressor on because it's noisy and um, turn the plasma cutter on and I'll show you how this thing cuts alright guys so here I've got my plasma cutter set up there and this is what we just made this is um, what we just made just before so like I say you can take that on and take that off and just unscrew it I mean, you only have to make a couple of these, I mean, they last forever, unless you drop them or something, but, you know, not cheap as chips. Screw that back on there, change your, your um, tips, screw it on tight, just as usual, and it just gives you a bit more control. Well, I'll see if it works, eh? Alright, to me, things to work. Um, have another go. Just a matter of practice, I think, but you do get a lot more control. You get a lot more control over your cutting. And it holds it out the right distance from your work, too, you know. Yeah, anyway, that's a little hack for what it's worth, nothing uh, spectacular, um, yeah, it doesn't even get that hot, it's just, um, yeah, you think it would melt the tape, but it doesn't, but it's uh, pretty simple, really. Thanks for watching, guys, see you next time, uh, subscribe, yeah, I'll see some more bits and pieces, and um, yeah, if you want to buy any bits and pieces, there's a couple links on the bottom, but you might have something in your workshop that you can, you can put together and make your own little guide. But um, yeah, I like those little wire guides, uh, they're quite useful for what they do. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, thanks again, see you next time.